Wonderful. Here I am in conversation with Chelsea D'Souza of Mumbai. She is here to give us a concert uh, in two days from now at the Kala Academy. Uh, tell me, Chelsea, uh, how does it feel to be here, first of all? Well, it feels great. This is the first time I'm performing in Goa and I'm really looking forward to it since I'm originally from here. And I know that Goan audience is really uh, into um, Western music, so I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, from Saligao, isn't it? Yeah. That's where you're from. Okay, wonderful. Uh, so tell me a little bit how you got into it and, uh, you know, your career path and where you go, where you go from here. Um, well, I guess it's because, you know, I was born into a family of, um, I wouldn't say musicians, but really music lovers. Yeah. Both my parents play the piano and my dad plays a lot of other instruments and he sings as well. Yeah. So um, I grew up listening to a lot of classical music, you know, at the yeah. breakfast table, Chopin, Nocturnes and things like that. And... Um, I did show an interest in it at a very early age. So I started formal piano lessons at five. Yeah. And within three months, I won, won my first competition. So I think it, uh, I don't know, it just, yeah. it just felt right. And did studies, your, you know, the, the usual thing with Indian parents is that the academics tends to get in the way and music becomes a distraction really. So uh, how, did your parents feel that way or what, how did you adjust? Um, well, yeah. at that age... Academics did come first, you yeah, know, in, yeah. in our list of priorities, I think, because at that time I didn't really consider music as a career option, mm. it but was what, more of a hobby. What did you want to be then? Uh, I don't really <laughs> remember, I don't think I had any specific idea, you know, okay, okay. but uh, no, I definitely loved music and I liked um, doing my schoolwork as well, so it was yeah. kind of dividing my time into both. Yeah, so you did very well in your academics too, yeah, no? used sports to, uh, and yeah, elocution. Yeah, I used to be an academic talker in school, yeah. And yeah, so yeah, a girl of many talents, obviously. <laughs> so, but uh, but it can't have been easy to uh, obviously take, describe for me a day in the life of Chelsea to Caesar in terms of your practice time. Well, um, for example, at the time when I was doing my LTCL, mm. uh, I used to leave for school at about seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So I used to get up a little early and maybe put in half an hour practice before maybe mm. about six between uh, six and six thirty. Yeah. Then get ready in half an hour for school. And um, since my school was one hour away, I used to come home at around 4.30, mm. really, really tired. But mm. um, I used to just take a short nap, then get up and practice for about three hours. And then, you know, try to squeeze in some studies. Yeah. yeah so. so all told, how many, how many minutes or hours of practice do you think you could notch up? Um, during school days, it was about three or four. Now, and now, you know, with all these concerts happening and I'm free yeah. the whole day since mm. school is over. So I've got, I'm trying to do about six mm. hours at least. Yeah. It's but some, required. Somebody at your level uh, on a world scale would be having to put in how many hours? Six hours? Or? More than ten actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. seems in, uh, uh, superhuman sometimes, <laughs> no? Yeah. So anyhow, so, uh, so describe to your, your first teacher was Shanti Sheldon, isn't it? The... Well, I did start off with another teacher, but then I joined Shanti when I was um, seven or eight. Mm. And I was with her till 15. Okay. So it was a long time with her. And then uh, you you had a lot of uh, perf visiting performers, uh, giving yes, master classes. Uh, not so much at that time, but definitely yeah. recently. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of things happened when I was with Shanti. I won two All India co Piano Competitions when I was with her. In Mumbai? Yeah. Okay. And uh, then what happened? The break for you is when you first went to Germany? Uh... I think so. It was, yeah, I, I was a runner-up at the um, second All India Piano Competition. And mm. uh, one of the judges who was teaching in a German um, college of music, she invited me to Germany for the summer. What's her name? Sheila Arnold. And she invited she, you where? Uh, to Cologne. Cologne, okay. Yeah, to the Cologne Hochschule for Music. Okay. And uh, so I went there for about one and a half months in the summer. Mm. And that was pretty much a turning point, you know, because I got to see what a life of a musician is. Mm. Because both she and her husband are professional right. musicians. Right, so you were staying with them? Or? Yeah, I was yeah. staying uh, with okay. them. Right, right. Mm. And so then you, then you came back and uh, what happened then? Well, I think after that I really got seriously into my music. I okay. did my LTCL the next year, then... Um, I won two more All India Piano competitions and I even did an international competition. So by then you had your heart set on a music career? Um, I knew it was definitely something I wanted to cons uh, continue doing for the rest of my life. Yes. Yeah, okay. And then what happened? Then I think then then comes the competition you won last year? Or? Yes, in Kansas. Yeah, I went twice more to Germany every okay. summer. The past three summers have been spent actually in Germany. Right. Yeah, so... Um, then um, last year, the third All India competition I won yeah. also gave me um, a scholarship to this piano camp in the US. Yeah. 
and uh, there was an international competition there which I took part in and, and I really didn't expect it but um, I won the top prize. Yeah, the IIYM so, or something. Yes, wasn't International it? Institute for Young Musicians. Right, right. Wonderful. Congratulations. And so that's why you shifted your focus from Germany to the US, is it? Uh, well, not exactly. The reason I opted for the US when deciding where to continue my studies was because I wanted to do a double degree. Okay. Just continue my academics and get a Bachelor of Arts. Okay. In economics and also bachelor in music. <laughs> okay. So uh, that option isn't really available in Europe. So that's why I opted for. Okay. The US. So it wasn't the language as much as all that. Oh right? no, I'm I'm decent in German, and I know okay. if I you know stuck with if it. Yeah, you, you, you could have done it. Yeah. yeah. So where so now you 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 you've got gained admission into the Oberlin Conservatory yeah. of Music, which is in uh, Ohio. Ohio, and. How do you see your life from now on? What's going to? Uh, what are what are your aspirations? Let's put it like that. What um, would you like to do? do well, right now that? I just want to get through this program. It's a five-year, pretty rigorous program because you know I'm doing combining two educations really at the same yeah, time. Yeah. So um, once I get through this, I'm planning to probably continue and do a master's in music. Yeah. I'm not sure where. I'm considering Europe for that. Yeah. Or you know, one of the top schools in the US. Yeah. Now, uh, do, do you see yourself as uh, some sort of an exception to the Indian rule, or do you think that this is something that can be achieved, uh, mm -hmm. in the sense that can other youngsters like you get to where you have gotten or will get? I think definitely. I think all you need is um, you know determination to do it, and once yeah. you decide to do something, you should definitely not leave it halfway. Yeah. You know, really go all the way and try to achieve what you want. But without the proper guidance, that can be difficult, no? It can, it can. I know, I've, I mean, I've always had a problem um, finding good teaching, especially for Western piano yeah. in uh, Bombay. And uh, going abroad was definitely a major help for me. Yeah. So I think it's really important that we develop yeah. um, the standard of teaching first. before. How? But uh, that's the big question. How? Well, um, in India, I mean. Yeah, I know. It's it's pretty hard. Actually. For example, I mean, would you contemplate coming back at some point in your I, life? You no, know, I do. I do. I'd really want to come back and, you know, teach. Become a piano teacher like Shanti? Uh, uh, I don't know because I definitely love performing more than I love teaching at this stage. Yeah. But I do want to come back and, you know, help the youth and things like that because there's so much of talent, really. Yeah, that's you know, exactly what this is my view, too. So yeah. I, I do want, I mean, there's so much that can be done and I really want to do a lot. Yeah. Wonderful. So I think on behalf of everybody in Goa, I'd like to wish you all the best and we're looking very, uh, looking forward very much to your concert Thank you. on Thursday. That's the 29th of July at 7pm at the yeah. Kala Academy and passes are available at the uh, security counter. Yeah. Every year. Thank you.